Aloha friends, I'm Patrick Ching and thank you for joining me on Couple A Shopping Center's online video class. Alright, so I'll show you how you can go about painting your own Christmas paintings starting with the Honu Green Sea Turtle, Eevee Hawaiian Honey Creeper, and the Uhu or Parrotfish. Alright, now some of the main ingredients you're going to need for painting are paper and paint and brushes and things like that, okay? So I'll show you what I use right here. Now you got your picture, um, have some paper towels ready. I use a couple of containers for water. I like to use paper, you notice that, so we don't have to use so much plastics, yeah? I keep a container for clean water and a container that I'm going to use to wash brushes too. I got my assortment of brushes here. Get your favorite brushes. And you can use whatever kind of paint you have available. I'll be using acrylic paints today, but you can be using watercolors or whatever you like to color with. I'll just be using paper plates as our palette and make sure you have a rubbish can close by too, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how I go about painting the parrotfish surrounded by some beautiful water and pencil urchins. Okay, so I'll do something a little different on this parrotfish. I'm gonna make the surrounding ocean quite dark so that the colors of the parrotfish really stand out. I'll start again by painting with water everything that I want to be background, like ocean, okay? I'm gonna not paint the reef. I'm not gonna paint the fish. I'm just gonna paint with water the ocean color. Go inside the mouth there a little bit. Okay, paint around that sea urchin. And over here, I'll paint everything but the fish and the coral. Now I'm going to start getting some dark blues and I'll start over here with some very dark purplish blues and really get this fish to stand out. I'm also going to leave the pencil urchin white for now so that when I do paint it red, it'll be really nice and bright. Okay, as the water gets a little higher, I'll turn it from deep purple to kind of a lighter blue or aqua color. I'll leave some of those areas white like that. Okay, kind of give the illusion of swirls of water, leaving some of those areas just white. As it goes down lower, I'll change it from greenish to bluish. Okay, now I'm going to paint these parts of coral using white with a touch of burnt sienna brown and a little bit of this orange color, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. All right, I can 
get a little bit of any color like purple or brown and make a little bit of a shadow color in the coral like that. You, know, you can put some under the urchins. Put some behind the coral, make some coral look farther away. Okay. You can also take a little bit of a green, like a phthalo green color, and put that green in some coral that make that look a little farther away. Not too much. It's a little bit. Okay, that's a nice way of making the coral seem like it's going off into the distance. Adding a little bit of green in it. Now before I go too much further, I'm going to get these nice bright red pencil urchins. And I'm going to use this nice sharp brush and some red color. And the trick here is not just that I can go and paint them all, but I can leave some places a little, a little touch of white in them, making it seem like it's a little shiny. You know, you can put red on both sides. But you can have a little part of it that's quite white. That white can translate into shininess. So some places you might choose to keep a little shinier, a little whiter. And again, on coral, you can have all kinds of colors of algae. So you can really make patches of any kinds of color. So I might just give a little patches of orange here and there. Now, like most of my paintings, I am going to start with my lightest colors first. And there is a nice little patch of yellow on this parrotfish. You can sometimes add white to the yellow. That'll make it a little brighter. That patch right there is quite bright. All right. My next brighter colors are pinks. And I'll get a color like a magenta and white. And use a lot of white, a little magenta and a lot of white. You can get a beautiful pinkish color. And put it in wherever you got pinks. And a little white, a little bit of that magenta. Now you sure can use any color you want over here. Don't even have to make it look like a real fish or anything, okay? All right. Parrotfish can be any color. Okay. So I am going to put a little bit of areas in here, pink also. Add some more of these aqua greens into the fish. I'm going to get a bunch of white and a little bit of this phthalo green. OK, 
Yeah, it's kind of a bluish green, that phthalo, but it's a very nice color. And because we made our background dark, this green's going to stand out nicely, okay? So a lot of these places here, I'm going to start by making this aqua color. Down here as well. Yeah, and I'm going to try and keep my fish quite bright. And that's going to contrast against the darkness of the water we painted earlier. And sometimes you just don't know what colors are going into what. You're just going to go and paint what you think is the nicest, what you think looks the nicest. Experiment, especially on a fish called the parrotfish. Heck, I am sure this fish is not going to mind you painting some colors that might not be just what he looks like in the ocean. Okay, so I'm painting all over the place with this nice bright aqua green. I'm going in between the scales. Adding water. So much fun. I love this color. And this parrotfish has so much color. All right, so I'm setting myself up, yeah? You know what I mean by setting myself up? Setting myself up for success. Not getting everything too dark. I'm keeping it quite light. But I am going to be able to make things darker where I want, you know, like by putting darker blues in places. Yeah, kind of just frame that area. Got some water. See where I might like to put some sprigs of color. You know, sprigs are, I don't know, they're just kind of like zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let's try these lines, get them a little darker. Yeah, that looks nice. Maybe we try things, things we think might look nice. We try. Okay. Where else do we think might look nice? Yeah. Tell you what, I think it worked. Some of those places that we thought might look nice with a little bit more color. I think they do look nice. All right. Well, I think those scales in the middle of this 
parrotfish's body is a great place for adding color. How about a color like orange? Okay. Remember, if you're going to use colors like orange, you want to get all your blue out of your brush. Because blue is the opposite of orange. They'll turn brown. So I got some white. Got some orange. Make a light orange. Let's try painting some of these scales in there. A little bit of an orange color, okay? Yeah, because we can just paint this fish any color we like. It is so fun. You know I'm waiting to finish off with some purple. Planning on my places where I'm going to put the purple. Let's see. I can't wait to put a little more yellow in here too. Here, I'll get some yellow. I'll put it in these scales. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fun. Okay, what'll I do down here? I think I'll give him a little edge of orange and some purple. Even just a little white at the end. Just to make that a nicer picture. Purple. It's saying it wants some purple. Ah, that's nice. I think I'll use some purple in between here too. Yeah. Finish this off with a little green by the fins there. Hmm, one more thing right there. And a little orangey pink. Orangey pink is a color? Yeah, we got them. <laughs> That's right there, yellow. And there you have a parrotfish. Well, thank you for painting with me, and thanks to the Kapolei Shopping Center for hosting these online Christmas painting lessons. Aloha.